Today we're going to take a look at the HTC Hero by Lightyear Wireless and folks let me tell you if you've been looking for a smartphone that does it all this is the phone for you. I gotta be honest with you this is the most high advanced phone um, that, that I've ever had and, and I'm coming from Blackberry and few things have ever been able to compete with Blackberry in my view but this phone does it it does it all and it does more than you ever thought it would uh, so let's get right into how it works and all the good things that it'll do. Now, number one, any smartphone that you get, there's three main things that a smartphone has got to be able to perform on and deliver. Else, everything else with it, it really doesn't matter if it doesn't do those three things. And number one, obviously, are phone calls. Been able to make phone calls, and you can see that the uh, Hero's got a nice, uh, very large uh, display here of your phone of your of your keypad. Uh, I can make phone calls by dialing the number or I can also make phone calls looking through my contacts. I can I can basically dial the first few numbers or the first few letters of anyone in my contact. For instance, if I want to call uh, Ron Mattingly, I just R O N, and it would bring up the folks in my contact list. You can see Ron there at the top. I could just simply touch Ron, and it would make a phone call out to Ron. I can touch that. I can touch that. Make it speaker on, and uh, hopefully he won't call me back. That way you can see that and won't interrupt our training. But Basically, that's how the phone works. It's got great reception. I'm sitting indoors on the Sprint network. You can see I've got almost all bars. I'm here in Florida, and it's a great, a great, great service. Um, the also about the phone keypad. Uh, the phone. There's Ron Mattingly. Call me back, so you can see his name calling and all that. We'll decline that. Let it go to voicemail. But basically, um, as you see, also with these phones, the uh, the the HTC Hero it makes it very easy for doing three-way calls, conference calls. Uh, adding extensions, everything can be done. It's very, very simple, very easy to use interface. The second thing about a smartphone is you want it to be able to text well. And the HTC Hero has a great built-in texting uh, program. However, I utilize the Android market quite frequently, and I downloaded a nice program called Handsent. Handsent. And Handsent Text is a little bit more advanced. On here I have one of my representatives. You can see Handsent. Now everything is a threaded text message, whether you use this or the stock version in the phone, but this is a it's a free program you can download from the Android market. And you can see it has bubbles. It actually has me in my picture here. Uh, and it have you know if I had the picture of my contact saved or if it was a Facebook contact it would be saved there. And it actually has it in bubbles, the conversation, just like an IM conversation. It's very simple for me to type uh, back into it. I can simply just put my finger in the uh, the area where you would type, and if I want a full query, I can just tilt the phone to its side, and I can type using full query, and I can send messages back that way. Guys, this is an Android phone. It does everything that you want a phone to do. It's absolutely on par with any of the other Android models, and it's also on par with the iPhone. There's absolutely the iPhone has nothing on this phone. Uh, so that's the thing. Now the last thing that you want a smartphone to be able to do is obviously email. And again, the HTC Hero has a great built-in email program. However, I really prefer to use a program called K9. You can download it again. It's free from the Android Marketplace, which I'm going to get into in just a minute. And K9 will actually push your email to your phone and give you message indicators. You see my light blinking up here at the top? Just like a Blackberry would, this phone will blink and it has my notification up here at the top that I have unread messages. And it pushes the email to my phone. If you use Google, uh, Gmail, if you use um, if you use any of that stuff out there, you can, uh, you can push mail. As long as it's an IMAP format, it pushes it to your phone. See, there's no need to go in and download it. Uh, no need to sync anything. It actually will push it to your phone just like a just like an uh, a BlackBerry would do, and it does it in real time. You can add as many accounts as you want. Uh, so those are the three features. You can attach email. You can you can attach documents. You can download documents. You can uh, do all those different things that you would send. Anything you would do on a normal computer. Now those are the three main things. But let's take it a notch further with the Hero. The Hero is an all-out um, web browsing machine. So the web browser on the phone. Fantastic. Touch of a button, I can go to the web browser. I'm on Facebook right now. There's also a built-in Facebook application. Uh, so you can actually go in here and uh, you can you can go to this and basically on your on that, you know, you can set the home page to be whatever you want, but I set mine as Google. And I can do regular Google searches, I can do whatever I want to on this phone. Uh, it's, it's quite easy to type. I was very skeptical because I didn't think I would like the keypad uh, on a touch screen. Uh, but it works out pretty well. I can, you know, I could type in 
light year wireless and you guys can see that it's just a regular Google search I just want you to see the speed of a search when I hit enter bang it gives me uh, the different things that you'd want to see and it gives me different suggestions and boom there you go and it brings up everything and it's just as fast as a computer would be 3G coverage right it brings up all the different things that you'd want to find uh, on the, the normal things that you would find on Google so that's really a cool feature the web browsing is awesome it's just absolutely fantastic uh, the Facebook application is great um, this will this phone actually will sync all of your Facebook contacts to your phone so it will actually store them update them and everything in the phone without the need of going on to a program however uh, after playing with that I actually prefer just touch.facebook.com it's a specific uh, special website that Facebook designed for touch phones so there's no download there's no sync involved it does everything that that uh, uh, you know a, a software would on the phone only it's easier there's no download now, I don't like to have my Facebook contacts synced to my phone because it slows it down there's just too many of them so this works just the same I can look at my inbox my messages from Facebook I can do everything I want social media I can update my status I can look at other people's I can do a lot of different things with that so that is an awesome awesome thing as well another thing that I really like about it is the media player as you see this here media player uh, widget on my phone I can scroll through my different widgets but uh, the media player widget will play my music for me if I don't like that I can skip through all my different songs I can skip through everything I want and you can see I got a lot of Hank Williams Jr. on here there we go and there's more and more so it's very simple to go through your music okay very simple to go through your music it's got a standard headphone jack so you can hook in headphones or if you have an auxiliary jack in your car you can hook it right up to your car as well um, and stream all your data and it will play video and audio so it's also uh, that a lot of people talk about hey you know uh, iPods and I iPhones we you know we like iTunes well let me show you something on the Androids uh, is that its own mp3 store through Amazon okay reputable vendor and you could go in here and search for whatever song that you want out there albums however you want to do it and, and in fact I'll search for one now just so you can see um, how it works we'll just type in uh, for instance we'll, we'll put in um, um, sting just as an example something type, easy to type in if I wanted to download anything by sting it would come up and it would search and it would look for things in, like just like an iTunes would and I can go right through here and I can buy sting albums or I can buy the individual mp3 which folks I really uh, appreciate an mp3 better than I do iTunes because mp3s can be played on anything it can be played on iTunes but it can also be played on my phone it can be played on my computer it can be played on any format uh, out there and that makes it a little bit easier so you can download it right to your phone just like you would iTunes the Android marketplace is awesome too there are literally tens of thousands of applications that you can download uh, out there you can search for things with news sports um, uh, applications for business whatever it is that you want and I'll just search on here for for instance I'll just put in sports to see what kind of programs and widgets might be available out there and as you can see it brings up and I'll get it close to the camera it brings up a lot of different you know ESPN score center backgrounds live scores uh, Major League Baseball news and these are all different tabs and widgets if you look to the side it'll actually show you the ratings so users have downloaded these and given you their um, given you their um, their uh, their feedback on how it works so that tells you if you want to download it or not it'll give you the uh, when you click on one it'll give you the description and then you can scroll down and actually see the reviews to see if it works well or not it's just like this one so and then most of them are free see that price in the top right it's free so most of the applications are free or they're low cost if you like different keyboards you can download those and put them in there are programs that do a lot of different things uh, to sync to your computer I, one of the my favorite programs is iHeartRadio where I can listen to radio live radio stations from Clear Channel I like to listen to uh, um, stations from all across the country and this streams live radio right on the phone and it's clear, crystal clear uh, without any problems uh, the last feature I wanted to show you other than the camera which again the camera is a 5.0 megapixel camera which is a very very clear high quality camera it's not you know a, a professional image or anything but it's a high quality 
um, type of camera, you're going to love that. You're going to get crystal clear pictures. And it's not sluggish and slow like a lot of phones when they have cameras that takes them forever to save and, and all that different stuff. I can scroll through my pictures. I can go to my photos. And these are some of the pictures I've taken on the phone uh, as well as saved online. You know, I could look at all photos. Um, and I'll go back through here, all photos. And there's my dad. You know, I can scroll through them. There's my wife. There's us at Derby. There's our new horse. You know, you can bring those pictures up. This one was taken on a BlackBerry. You can see the difference in quality uh, as opposed to one that I may have taken with this phone. Um, which here, I like this one here. That's the, uh, the Android right there. That's a picture of the Android at Best Buy and what they sell it for. And you see that price? $5.99. And you get it from Lightyear uh, much cheaper than that, ladies and gentlemen. Much cheaper than that. Um, at least a couple hundred dollars cheaper. And there's no contract, no contract, no credit check. And again, you get three customers, you don't even have to pay a bill on this phone, and you get all these features. The last thing I want to show you is the GPS and navigation. Not only does the Android and the HTC Hero come loaded with Google Maps, it actually has navigation, much like a Garmin, much like a TomTom, -Tom or anything of that nature. When I open up the Maps program, it will show me where I'm at. I can click one button and go to my location and boom you see that flashing blue right, light right there that's where I'm at I'm in my office if I want to zoom in all I gotta do is just put my fingers on the screen and open it up just like that and it takes me further closer to where I'm at you can see my home there on the on the on the water now if I want to do this I can get directions real time from my location as you see it says my location up there and choose an endpoint. In this point, I'm going to check Light Your Wireless for you guys driving to Louisville, Kentucky for our uh, conference or anywhere else that you're going to go. Here you go. And I can go go right here. It's going to give me driving directions. Now, not only is it going to give me driving directions and let me see it on the map, I can see this on the map. I can scroll out and it gives me that blue line. It's telling me where to go. It, you know, it gives me turn by turn directions. Okay, you see that blue line? That takes me where I'm going to go. But here's the best part. The click of a button, and go back to directions, go back to 19 each parkway, hit go again. And if I want to take it to the next level, I can hit the navigate button. And not only will it give me directions, it's actually going to talk me and give me 3D, 3D maps of my destination. So it's giving driving directions right now. This will actually talk to me. It tells me I'm 1,030 miles away, 17 hour drive, so obviously I fly when I go to Louisville. But it shows me where I'm at, and folks, it's turn by turn directions. It talks to me. It tells me when I need to turn left. Just like a Garmin, just like a TomTom. -Tom. It is real time, absolutely real time uh, GPS navigation on this phone. So those are some of the cool things about this phone. Guys, it does so much more. I could spend all day here teaching you how to use it. It will do everything that your heart desires in a phone and more. And it will do it in a way that makes it fun, easy, interactive. You're going to have a hard time putting this phone down. So if you don't like to play with gadgets and you don't like things like that, I don't recommend you getting this phone. Uh, Lightyear's got it on sale with no contract, no term commitment, no deposits. We charge $59.99 a month for this service. 60 bucks and you get all that, the navigation, the unlimited internet, unlimited email, all that different stuff. You can download to your heart's desire. You can actually put in 32 gigabytes of storage space for, for, um, for music, which is the size of a, of a large high-end um, iPod. And here's the other thing. I bought a couple of accessories. I bought a, uh, a, a rubber silicone case for it, which will protect it. You can get those on overstock.com. Uh, which helps it out. Also available is an extended life battery. If you're a really heavy user of the phone, um, you can get an extended life battery like this, and it also comes with a back cover that will extend the, the, the size of the phone to allow for that battery to be in there. So it makes it a little bit wider, but it actually makes it easier to hold. So you can get all this stuff, guys, um, from a phone that does it all. So if you're really uh, into phones, if you really want the best of the best, you're going to have a hard time beating the HTC Hero. And with Lightyear, not only do you get the great phone, you get the great service. And by referring just a few customers, you get the service free. So thanks, everybody, for watching. I hope you enjoy the phone, and um, we'll see you on another video.